Hi there, DW Berman here. I just wanted to uh, kind of go over this rig that I set up for uh, basically injecting stuff into stuff with a syringe and everything. Um, it's a fun little rig, and I'm thinking about making a tutorial on how to uh, actually build this and uh, selling it on, on um, liberty3d.com. So if you're interested in that project, uh, leave a comment below and I'll uh, talk a little more about that later. Um, so here I have a the circle here is a null and that is my injection point null. That lets me set where on the surface of this orange or you know where on the uh, where on the uh, skin I want the uh, injection to happen so I can position exactly where on uh, the surface of whatever I'm injecting into where I want this to be and uh, I also have a needle target which is down here and you can see I can position this wherever I want inside the volume like if you need to uh, inject something in one area and then pull out a little bit and then inject into another area that's close by using the same hole you can do that this was set up specifically so you could do that um, I also have this needle le the length of this needle uh, is set is adjustable using a morph target this was so I don't you know obviously a real needle doesn't actually extend like this but uh, it helps if you just need to make a quick adjustment for a shot. Um, I also have a syringe here as, as a separate object because I did two projects with this uh, setup and the second one needed the needle to go in first and then the syringe on top of the needle so I had to separate them and now that's functioning perfectly. I have a plunger that goes in and out and you can't see it here but it uh, actually causes the the contents to change. I have the contents set to uh, move in and out based on this. Actually, they're just uh, it's just a clip map, so it's just hidden. If I switch to VPR mode, you can see I have a blue liquid in the middle, and I if, if, as I move the plunger down, the liquid uh, gets smaller, and if I move the plunger out, the liquid gets bigger and fills up the vial. So that's pretty much it for this uh, this video. This is like I said, I'm thinking of developing this for a tutorial for liberty3d.com uh, where I have some other tutorials for sale. The tutorial will be the entire project where I cover modeling the needle, which I'll probably do a better job in the tutorial than I actually did building this needle. It'll build this whole thing, set it up, and rig everything uh, so it's all ready for animation loading into another project. And um, yeah, like I said, if there's enough interest, I will develop this into a full full-blown tutorial. And uh, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day.